Hello, my dear students. I hope you are fine. I am your teacher Bilal Ahmed, and this is the summary of today's English class. As you know, the day was Wednesday, twenty-four November. Sorry, twenty-four February, twenty twenty-one. So kindly open the page ninety-eight to one hundred and one. So we have the lesson number five. Read and respond. Okay, read and respond. So today we talked about uh, the biography. You listen to a biography. That is the real story about Mama Trees. And uh, after reading the biography, you have to answer the question. so we discussed that what is the biography the real story the true story of someone's life so this story about bangari mathai this is the character of the story so kindly listen the track 69 well and then we're going to discuss some questions Okay. Give me a moment, please. River was dry. The people in Wangar. Track sixty nine. Wangari Mathai, Mama Trees. Wangari Mathai was born in nineteen forty in a small village in Kenya. Green trees covered the land. Families grew food in small gardens. A little river brought clean water to the village. Women and children picked figs and other fruit from the trees. They used wood to make fires for cooking. Wangari loved her green and beautiful home. When Wangari grew older, she went away to school. She studied in the United States and in Germany. When Wangari came back to Kenya, the land was very different. The family gardens had gone, the trees had gone, the sun had dried the earth, the wind had blown away the soil, the little river was dry. The people in Wangari's village now worked for a big company. They grew tea that was sold to people in other countries. Women and children walked a long way to get clean water and firewood. Wangari felt very sad. What could she do to help? An idea came to her. She would plant trees. Kenya could become green and beautiful again. Wangari took seeds from trees. She planted the seeds in her garden. She watched them and watered them. The seeds grew into little trees. Wangari gave the little trees to the women and children in her village. Together, they planted rows and rows of little trees. Every day, the women and children watered the trees. The trees grew. Soon, there were figs and other fruits to eat. There was clean water in the little rivers. There was wood for fires to cook food. When we plant trees, we plant the seeds of peace and hope," said Wangari. People all over Africa planted trees. They wanted to do the same as Wangari. Millions of trees were planted. People named Wangari Mama Trees. She became very famous. Little things make a big difference," said Wangari. "My little thing 
is planting trees. Okay guys, so this was a track 69. You listened to the mama trees. So here is the exercise. Yesterday we discussed all the story in the previous class. You can watch this video again. Okay, so you have to put the sentence in order. We have five pictures. So here is the first picture that uh, you have to write in sequence. The first picture shows when Gauri took seeds from the trees. Okay, what is the next step? When Gauri planted the seeds and watered them. Then number three, when Gauri gave the little trees to women and children in her village. And number four, together they planted many rows of trees. And the last step, the trees grew big, fruits grew on the trees. So you have to write numbers on each sentence. And we talked about biography. You have to complete your biography by writing what's your name, where you were born, and you have to write two interesting things that happened when you were childhood. Okay, so your homework on activity book, page 85. Thank you so much for listening.